Hello, I'm Mark from PC Games N, and I'm here with Harry, who's just been to see State of Decay 2's latest DLC. So what exactly is the latest uh, DLC for State of Decay 2? Uh, so it's called Daybreak, and it is definitely for the people who preferred combat uh, in State of Decay 2. It's a wave-based mode, uh, and you've got to protect a technician because he's putting together some cool stuff that can um, protect your communities um, better uh, against the zombies but this is a, this is a separate wave based thing and the waves get uh, more they get l uh, longer and obviously more um, more punishing with time uh, but this is one of the top things that uh, the that fans were asking for um, from, from the devs um, and you've got to you've, you've got uh, walls protecting your uh, your technician and you've got to rebuild those but you only have a certain amount of rebuild kits um, you've got uh, you're kind of an, an elite uh, almost like a high end type uh, almost like an end game character type thing so you've got the best the special Clio weapons that have, you have special special Clio ammo, ammo. Um, and and there's actually a new zombie type so it's called the blood plague juggernaut um, so one of the, the, the juggernauts were the, the kind of the really big zombies from the uh, from the main game but they can give you blood plague of which there from which there is no um, there is no cure in the in the uh, daybreak mode um, so yeah it's 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 pretty tough going it's pretty relentless um, and you've got uh, supply drops as well that you, could, you obviously need to reply or or resupply all of the uh, ammo and stuff you've been unleashing in your in your zombie enemies um, and but they supply drops take place outside of your area um, and you can get attacked by ferals which uh, you might remember from state of k2 the kind of the they run around on all fours they're pretty fast um, and they also are the only zombies that can um, climb over walls so you've got to keep an eye out for them basically um, and you can play it uh, solo um, with and you'll have two NPCs with you uh, and then you can play uh, with your with your friends as well so to uh, in a party of two uh, three or four um, and yeah it's definitely for the for the people who are into kind of combat and it, for people who have played uh, like the zombies modes in, in Call of Duty uh, like you'll kind of know what to expect here um, so yeah if, that, if, that, if that's you then you should be looking forward to, to, to Daybreak which comes out on the uh, 12th of September for 9.99 so how does Daybreak affect the main game of State of Decay 2? So, so it is it is a separate thing. Um, you've got you've got uh, obviously the main game in which you choose your your three areas. You build a community. It's it's separate to that. But you build a currency called um, Prestige, and through that you can earn special special weapons that you that like these kind of high tier elite weapons that you can get in State of Decay 2 at Daybreak, and then bring it over to the. Uh, normal game to make it a little bit easier to kind of fight off the uh, horde if you've been struggling a bit in the main game um, and that and that's the, the main way they interact but in kind of raw gameplay terms they, that it's, it's, a, it's a separate thing so if you really want a really kind of intense uh, intense dose of combat then uh, then uh, daybreak is for you um, and yeah that, 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 and that's about it take decay do daybreak it looks quite looks looks pretty good looks pretty fun with friends and yeah let us know if you're looking forward to State of Decay 2's latest DLC Daybreak down in the comments below. And check us out for more Gamecom videos coming this week and for all PC gaming goodness. We hope to see you around.